Hi, I'm Claire Dodd from TTG at Walt Disney World Resort Florida and aboard the Disney Dream. My first impression of um, Walt Disney Resort was just how huge it was and how much variety there was here. I like to be scared and I like to be thrilled and so things like the test track was so perfectly paced where you're going through this amazing kind of neon world and then suddenly you're whisked away and you're going 60 miles an hour and Everest you never really knew exactly what you were in for so the point when you go up the first run and then suddenly the track disappears and you don't know where you're you're going to end up. That was pretty amazing. Soaring was um, absolutely amazing. The moment that we passed through the cloud, I was there in the moment and felt like I was really flying through the air on there. So that was a, a highlight. I absolutely love the Festival of Fantasy Parade. I, from the moment the first performer went past to the last, the energy was really up and it was just so joyous. I loved the Kilimanjaro Safari. We saw hippos, we saw lions, we saw zebras, we saw rhinos. And I think that there's probably very few places in the world that you get to see that number of animals in that amount of time. The Star Wars Fireworks Spectacular was like watching a mini film in itself with the projections of all the stormtroopers up on the building and all the perfectly timed music and um, lasers and fireworks. I think that agents may not be aware of the level of sophistication of, of the offer here. There's everything from you know, casual burger and fries which you can grab in the park, which is probably something that they'd expect, but what they wouldn't expect is the five star, and I'd probably say five star plus experience of some of the restaurants. Flying Fish at the Boardwalk is such a beautiful restaurant. The food was exceptional, the wine was incredible, the cocktail list was incredible. So I think there's some real treats for the grown-ups who want a, a quiet and sophisticated night out. The transition of going from the hotel to the ship was so smooth and so easy. If you're on a holiday and you're settled in one place and you feel like you know moving on to another location is perhaps too much hassle, it, it really, really isn't. It was so smooth. Everything was sorted at the hotel. All we had to do was get on a bus and it couldn't have been smoother. Disney Dream, please welcome aboard Charlotte and Claire. First impressions of Disney Dream were, wow, this is absolutely massive. And it's going to take me at least three days to discover everything that's on board the ship. We used the spa, we used the pools, we used the rides, the um, water slide. I still possibly don't think I discovered everything that that ship has to offer. There is so much there. In the same way that throughout the resorts and throughout the parks there's a huge variety of uh, different dining styles and different dining room styles on offer, that was very much true of the Disney Dream as well. So a restaurant like the Animator's Palette, the food was still absolutely top notch but there was a really fun element to the dining there as well with animated characters appearing as if they were in the sea and as if we were under the sea. And also the uh, staff in all the restaurants were absolutely amazing as well. The entertainment on board the ship was amazing. It was really good fun, I think, for everyone, for people that probably just wanted to see the classic numbers to the little kids who were singing along every, every line. I thought Castaway Key, from the moment we opened our curtains to the stateroom in the morning to the moment we got back on the ship, was the most chilled out, relaxing, beautiful experience. The island itself is stunning and it's a perfect size, there's enough to explore. So if you want a little section of the beach to yourself, you can do that. If you want to be sat at the bar while there's musicians performing, you can do that too. I did a port adventure where I went kayaking through the mangroves on the island to just take a step back and explore the history of the islands a little bit. And to explore the, um, the mangroves was a really special experience. Pirate night was such a fun experience. I left my uh, stateroom to head up to the top deck and the lift was absolutely full of people dressed to the nines in full-on pirate gear, both adults, kids, everyone. The whole ship seemed to be really, really up for it and that made it such a, a magical atmosphere. And afterwards there was a really amazing party as well. I could see that everybody who was there was having a fantastic time. Agents should be saying that the ultimate Disney holiday, the combination of the land and sea, really is for everyone. First of all, you can do the full-on thrill-seeking attractions, you can spend a few days really going around the parks and seeing everything they have to offer and then I think the combo of following that with the cruise is ideal because you can put your feet up for a few days and watch the world go by and everything is at your fingertips. Agents really should be selling it to everyone and I think one of the things that 
they really should emphasise is there is such a luxury offering here and that may be something that some agents aren't aware of. I'm sure lots of people know about the Tower of Terror and the Magic Kingdom but I'm not sure they know about the wonderful restaurants and spas and really grown up lovely experiences that there are here too.